Hello, horsey people. We're back with our festive foals countdown to Christmas. So yeah, guys, last time we bred eggnog and I was umming and ahhing about whether to keep this boy or not because he's super gorgeous though. So, you know, I had to keep him. I, I just had to. That was just the rule. So we did actually breed Candy Cane in the last episode. She is super beautiful, I must admit. Is she my favourite? Possibly, yes. So how do the foals stay in the stable block on this festive countdown? Because obviously I, I do want to make slightly longer videos if I can so you guys we can have more fun here breeding more foals but the foal has to be super rare or fit in with a Christmas theme hence gingerbread state I mean the blue eyes are freaky but I've been after that coat pattern ages champ is actually a market stallion he was brought in just to breed randomly uh I think I bred him with angel actually uh Rudolph we're not using him yet because I'm going to do a special like reindeer video at some point. That's my theory anyway. So today's video, I think we're going to breed wood breed gingerbread. So far, every single time I've bred a horse, it's been bam. The first foal's been unique or fits into a Christmas theme. It's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. I just want to check out gingerbread's lineage so we've got a cool lot of grandparents on the go here but big butt uh we, yeah we don't know could breed something interesting could not so i'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to the false stools we're gonna breed ginger nut it's not called ginger nut gingerbread i need to get a new brain if only i had a brain so we actually used these stallions last because i'm i am recording these in succession as i have the time so uh yeah as you can guys can tell i've just recorded this one straight after episode six so yeah what's next guys let's find another cool stallion don't normally like that face there i was thinking as well guys oh my gosh look at the lineage though oh i think my face might be in the way but uh okay i'm breeding with this one Guys, I'm breeding with this one. This this foal is going to be super duper rare. I just, I can sense it. I've just got a sick sense for these things. This is crazy. I got so excited then I forgot what I was talking about. Sorry guys, memory of a teaspoon. So uh, yeah, what are we doing with eggnog? I asked you guys in the last episode, I was like, oh, do we keep eggnog? Do we sell Rudolph? We can't really sell Rudolph. He had a little bit of a red nose. I feel like I've got red nose today. Um, Champ is a market mare. Selling. Selling. And Truth Flag is a market mare. So these are ready to breed with certain different combinations, that kind of thing. So we could breed more than one today, but the horse has to be super duper unique. That's what I was talking about. I'm thinking about f doing a find, let's find Santa video, a Santa foal, and the foal has to have, let me show you this look. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I'm on about. We're going to go back to Creation Hub. <laughs> creation Hub. I don't know if I can find it straight away, but the I'm thinking, let's just go with, uh, let's just go with like your bog standard look a second. Let's just go with that. Uh, I'm thinking, I don't know if this is part of it. I can't remember where it is, but you guys know the look with the beard, the bearded look. I don't know what you call that. We're going to have to look for it, but I was thinking about being really fussy. It must be on this coat pattern then. Hang on. It will be a while. I was, oh, here we go, getting closer. That one, it has to be, I have to breed a white nape for it to be Santa. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, a, maybe like a bearded type look. Because that's all you get there, really, is that look there. That's what I was kind of thinking. But can you guys put the comments below? What do you think? I kind of want to breed all these. I've already bred this coat pattern, which could have been also like a bearded sort of look. But that's just my crazy imagination thinking that. I want to breed half these coat bands. It's not fair. Yes, quit. So, what do you think? Put in the comments below. Shall I aim to breed that weird white nape look for Santa? Or am I just asking too much of the game? Do you think? Do you think that's going to take me hours? We haven't really got hours. But we are going to do a huge Christmas Eve, like, Eve video where we breed, like, all our favourite horses or something. I might even do the reindeer one then. And then we're going to have a huge Christmas Day special one. Hopefully, we would have found Santa by then. But we do have 18 days to find this, so... Right, do you know what, Lady Ranger? Shut up. Let's go and uh, find out what gingerbread breeds. I think this is going to be super duper unique. The lineage in the stallions is unbelievable. 
And Gingerbread's lineage is not bad either, so let's go for it. What? I was not expecting that. I mean, it's really cute. It's got a tiny little snipper on her nose. See, I could... I don't know what to do now. Let's skip to Mare a second. Let's skip to Mare, because uh, let's, let's give her a Christmas name potentially in a minute. I think she's too similar. She's really, really nice and could suit, obviously, like, your Christmas names, like your ginger snaps and your... You know, all that kind of thing. Like fudge, fudge puddings and stuff like that. But I just feel like we could... I think out of that combination... We could breed something like a little bit more... Unique. So we'll leave her there for now. For now. <laughs> so won't you? Sorry guys. For now. Uh, let's have a look. So I'm going to stick with the stallion. I've got a good feeling about the stallion. I think we're going to breed something really, really rare today. I just, I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. So if you look at the lineage of this last fault, you'll see, oh, there's a weird glitch going on in my game. <laughs> so tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. Okay. Is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of lost the more we go up because obviously the fall's very, very I plain. The fall's very plain. But I do love this coat pattern because I don't normally get this like shade, this coat, this coat color rather, rather than pattern. So, would fit in with a lot of Christmas stuff. I mean, that could be fudge, couldn't it? Um, Misty Mocha, you said about fudge. So, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Similix Pixie. I was the donkey in the... Yeah, what guy... Well, guys, what were you in your school nativity play? Put in the comment section below. I was a king. I had a moustache and everything. Right. I think it's gonna be rare. I think it's gonna be really rare. It's still not really rare. It's lovely, but it's still not really rare. What is going on? I mean, no, it's lovely, and we're breeding lots and lots of palominos. Ah, oh, this is this is like. I mean, I could say to you, I could be like, oh, that's great, because it is fine. Uh, let's not give him a name yet either. Like, it's a good foal, but I feel I just feel that combination. We could breed something really unique today. Something really, really unique. So we're going to go again. I think third time lucky. What do you guys think? I think third time lucky. Is we're going to breed something really, really unique out of this combination. Uh, I don't want to check the other stallion, actually, because it is a palomino. A palomino. Uh, what's this? Um, no, I still prefer the other stallion's lineage. Seriously, look at look at this stallion's lineage. This is mental. I mean, here you've got a splash white. You have uh, pintalooses. You have uh, general pinta. Come on! Third time lucky. I think the other two are absolutely stunning. And if I was going to pick a name for them, I would pick the one from Misty Mocha, which is Fudge or Figgy Pudding. Is quite a cute name, isn't it? Hot chocolate. Oh, great names. Thanks. Izzy Malfoy. Oh my gosh. Actual, are you related to, are you related to the, the Malfoy? So mean. That actually ends up being nice, doesn't he, in Harry Potter? So, uh, <laughs> we have Tragedy, which I can't say, Tulip, which I might change the name to Fudge, but then uh, if you name it, you get attached to it. Um, the really nice foals. And you guys are probably like, Lady Ranger, the Palomino is, well, he's kind of a chestnut Palomino. Why would you like, why would you get him? So, if you get a chestnut stallion, I think you should call him Nutcracker. Yeah, that's a great idea, Maz. Shame this is a bear. I mean, he could call him Nutcracker. Uh, there's loads of good names. Alana, you've... Yeah, we've got Elf is a great name. We need one for Elf. I think we should have a special day just for an Elf. Don't you think? Wow, Olivia Jones, you have left loads and loads of names here, which are wicked. Tell you what, let's go and see if this foal is any closer to being super duper rare. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna hold out here, because I think it's gonna be good. Come on! Knew it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. I just had an epiphany. An actual epiphany. 
could this be Santa? It's a filly though, which is really annoying. Um, it, I knew it was going to be a splash white. I knew it. I knew it. So I knew, I just knew we were going to get, I know what I'm going to call this as well. Let's care for foal because I want to get some pictures. Okay, name of the foal is going to be, I was going to call this one Santa because the half splash thing does look like a one giant beard. Let's have a look, guys. Oh. Okay. I know what I want to call this one, but I've lost the person who sent, who just gave me the name for that. That's so annoying. Uh, Golden Teleport. I will name one Vixen, but that'll be in our special reindeer one. Um, what do you call this horse if it was yours, though, guys? Put in the comment section below. I want to know. Oh, Mince Pie is a great name. That's from Bryony Matless. I do fan that's quite a good name actually. This is a little filly though. I'm thinking what will suit what will suit her? Prancing snowflakes quite cute. I'm really stuck, guys. I think I don't know what to call this. Pudding is a great name. And this is from Laura Steele as well. I just think something pudding, like figgy pudding or something like that. Or I don't think it's right for mistletoe. What name would you call a horse mistletoe? Coco is a good name. That's from Maple Flower Studio. I don't know what to call this horse. Okay, Coco. There's a lot of Cocos, which is standing out to me. Oh, I don't know. This is so hard. Why is it so hard to name your hearth? Marshmallow is also a great name. Holly Jolly. Jo Joy, Holly. Noel, <laughs> Christmas Twinkle Toes is a great name from Lane Bernard. Gingerbread Snowflake, Twinkle Toes is quite a cute name actually. Snowflake's also really sweet, but I think we need like a like a grey or something for that. Oh my gosh, this is a filly. If it was a boy, I would I've known would have known exactly what to call this straight away. I'm gonna call this one. Oh, this is so hard. Let's call him mistletoe. Let's do it. I, w I wasn't sure, like, what do you, what colour horse does a mistletoe look like? Do you know what I mean? I think because it's unique, let's give it a proper, like, iconic Christmas name. So that was by, a uh, lots of you have said mistletoe, but the Carr family, you often comment on my videos, so thank you for that. Um, commenting on my videos is just, like, the best. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, but yes, if you also said that, then I'm sorry I haven't given you a shout out. I'll have a look through the comments, but we'll see. Uh, let's just take, I just want a few shots for my thumbnails and then we're going to be good to go. So, wow, we bred our splash white, guys. Yay! We bred a splash white and I'm so happy. And we're going to call it mistletoe. Cute! Okay, jobs are good. Skip it to Mel, let's see what she looks like. It's a really nice contrast of colour as well. I'm so excited about that. I knew it though, didn't I? I knew I could breed something rare out of this situation. I knew it. <laughs> Some people are silly online. Right, I'm just going to sell Tragedy's ch Tulip. I can't say it because it's a great coat pattern, but we've bred it a lot. We've bred it a lot, guys. So what would you have called that little... Cutie. Uh, Mistletoe is a great name. Like Plum Pudding actually would have been a great name as well. Like Plum Pudding. Actually, Esther, uh, I can't say your name. Weg Wegzolia. You've got some amazing names. I'm really hungry now, guys, actually. I think I need to go get myself some snacks. I actually haven't eaten much today, which is terrible for me, right? Okie dokie. I have a job in the new year working with horses. It's actually a, a girl lady who... Uh, breeds them she has stallions she breeds them and stuff because you guys know my dream is to have my own yard one day that's all i like work for it's all i do yeah and i got a new job doing that just thought i'd tell you guys it's only a couple days a week until i sort out what i'm doing with my music school <laughs> that's what it is so yeah super excited oh my goodness mistletoe is an amazing asset to the yard here this is absolutely incredible look at this so who's still here at this point please give us a Yes, we're still here, Lady Ranger. Guys, that is it. That's it for, t for today. This is episode seven. Did I say that already? I don't know whether I did, actually. So I'll put a link somewhere to episode one, our first festive fall, because I'll tell you, that was so fun. 
They're short and sweet, these videos, guys, but they are super duper fun and I, I'm having such a blast. So please subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and if you love horses and you love Christmas, then double thumbs. Is my hair gone crazy? Yeah, it looks like I'm wearing a wig today. I'm not. Okay, guys, have a awesome day. Bye.